Cheer Leadership Academy. Um, networking with Confidence Session. We are so glad you're here, students, speakers, teachers, volunteers. Um, thank you so much for joining us on this snowy, snowy day. Uh, we'd like to take a moment to thank our event sponsors. Uh, this program is presented by Sanofi um, and our sponsors ADP, Janssen, New Jersey Resources, State Farm, Allstate, AmeriHealth, L'Oreal, CDW, Deloitte, Crow, Lockheed Martin, PSEG, Realogy, and Subaru. Thank you to all these fabulous companies who make this event possible. So just a little bit of housekeeping. My name is Christy Bedra and I'll be your host today. Um, we are going to start off uh, by uh, suggesting that we use the chat room. If you'd like to say hello and ask questions during the presentation, lines are muted at the start of the meeting. Um, during Q&A periods, uh, when we move into uh, the breakout sessions, uh, you are welcome to unmute your line at that point. Um, this part of the meeting is being recorded and will be made available. So at this time, we'd like to invite all of you to go ahead and try that chat box out. You'll see the little button at the bottom. And if you'd like, feel free to uh, post your name, say hello, uh, name and school. Um, we'd love to hear from you. We'd like to see who's out there. Uh, just a little hello, name, school, company, um, just to get an idea of who we have out there. We love that chat box. And here's our leadership thought of the day. We're going to start each session with another leadership thought of the day. Our leadership thought for today is healthy striving. Healthy striving is the practice of trying to be better while understanding that perfection does not exist. The underlying motivation for healthy striving is self-improvement, not gaining the approval of others. Again, healthy striving, our leadership word of the day. A little bit about today's agenda. So we're going to have a little bit of a welcome, which we're doing now. Uh, we're going to introduce, uh, we have a very exciting guest speaker who's joined us today. Um, then we're going to go into our session, learn a little bit about networking with confidence and why it's important. Then we will break into an activity where you'll get to create your own elevator pitch guided by our volunteer mentors who are joining us today. Um, you'll have, we'll have interactive breakout sessions that are facilitated by our mentors. Where you'll get to write and practice your own personal elevator pitch. And then at three o'clock, we will conclude the session. And thank you to everybody who is posting hello in that chat box. We love to hear from you. I'd like to give you a little bit of information about our certificate of leadership. Um, so students, if you participate in five or more of these sessions, either live or viewing the pre-recorded sessions later, and submit a final project to me, that's my email address, uh, you will receive JA and J's certificate of leadership. So final project, what does that look like? Well, it should just highlight your key takeaways from the academy. Uh, the best thing you learned, how you've grown as a person or how the program might help you in the future. And this can be whatever you want it to be. Be creative, have it show your own personality. Narrative, journal entry, video, infographic, podcast, web, web page, anything you like uh, that expresses you and what you've learned or how you've grown. Um, there's no due date, they are not graded, just submit it whenever you uh, have it completed. Um, and this is a certificate is a great addition to your college application or resume. Um, at this point, I would like to introduce um, our, our uh, college intern, Oriana. Um, Oriana has joined us uh, for all of these sessions and she has been such a fabulous asset. Oriana, would you mind uh, saying hello and introducing yourself really quick to everybody? Yeah, of course. For those who are new to this program, hi, my name is Oriana. I'm currently a freshman at Princeton University. I'm currently dorming, and I've been with JA for a couple of months now, and I'm super excited to still be here working with them. And I started a new initiative on Fridays with the Women's Leadership Academy, where we're able to create a community and really help with networking, which is what we're talking about today. So that'll be a great basis for you guys, and we'd love for you guys to join. So if you guys can say, like, what times of the day on Fridays, you're most likely available. We'd love to hear from you. We really want to make this event about you guys and what you're able to, you know, really bring out of it to help, you know, um, create foundation for success in the future. So if any times, let us know in the chat box what time you're available so we can really make it cater to you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Oriana. We're so grateful to you. And again, Oriana has been leading um, Friday reflection sessions, which have been really a great opportunity to continue the conversation and kind of talk about anything else that might be on your mind, uh, anything you might be worried about. Um, 
any any leadership skills that you've learned. Um, it's really a great uh, a great casual form for this type of conversation. So we'd like to hear from you, as Oriana mentioned. Um, right now we have these scheduled on Fridays at 2 p.m., but we understand that people have different schedules, uh, things change. So if you are interested in joining us for the Friday reflection sessions, um, and you have a better time suggestion than two o'clock, please feel free to post that in the chat box. We really wanna make this as available to as many students as possible. So go ahead and post, you don't have to put your name or anything, just post a time on Friday that might work good for you for an hour long virtual conversation. And you can do this now or anytime uh, during the program. We really, we really like to hear from you. Um, so, so thank you again uh, for your feedback and thank you Oriana for your leadership um, as, we, as we grow this program. We're so grateful for you. And speaking of leaders and people we are grateful for, um, I would like to now introduce our guest speaker. She is certainly one of our favorite leaders here at Junior Achievement. She's been on our board uh, for a number of years and really um, she's one of the people that really walks the walk and talks the talk. Um, I've asked her to join us today. Uh, we are so grateful to have you here. Everybody, please welcome Ms. Valeria Jimenez from Mass Mutual Tri-State. Valeria. Bell, right, Bell, I think you're muted. Oh, there we go. There we I go. Guess it automatically muted me. So I'm so excited to be here with all of you, and thank you to Christy and Oriana for being, you know, inviting me to be part of the Women's Leadership Forum. First of all, I am super excited to kick off this particular session about networking, and here's why. When I started really in my journey to trying to find my own career, I realized very early on that networking was the only way I was gonna be able to help myself open new doors. And I say this because when we first start out, all of you probably have a different situation of why you're here, but I think that all of you may have heard a key about networking. And whenever, you know, when I was uh, in high school, I really felt that I didn't have necessarily the right opportunities already set aside. I wasn't born into the right family or the right income level. I definitely didn't have contacts and connections uh, that other friends may have had. And my parents really were, you know, we migrated to this country. They didn't speak the language very well. So I didn't, didn't really have like a good starting point. And what I found with networking is that networking opened up so many opportunities and it allowed me to really find those ways for me to build and grow my business. So here's a couple of tips I wanna share with all of you today as you are here to learn from such great women that are going to be uh, really providing you a little bit of insight of what they've done with networking and how it's helped them. But the one thing that I get asked very often is, well, if you were to go back in time, what would you say to yourself? What are the key things? So I'm gonna talk to all of you like I would talk to myself if I was sitting there in your shoes. First, what a great way of using a snow day to really enhance and grow your business. I'm so excited that you're thinking ahead and just sitting there. But here's the one skill you wanna first think about is being a really good listener. One of the traits that we are forgetting is how to be present in the moment. And I ask you to do a couple of things as you're sitting there today. I want you to really just turn off your devices, turn off notifications, just be here with us. Because what I have found is that we have so many distractions and distractions continue to really take over. And it really does rob you from the opportunity to learn. So that's my first lesson to you. The second thing I want to share with you is to write. We are losing the art of writing. So one key thing is to remember to have your pencil and your or your pen and a piece of paper. There is nothing else that will help you improve your memory like writing. There are actual studies that show that the moment that you're listening actively and taking notes, you're engaging your brain in a different way to retain more information. This was my way of being able to have a full-time job as I went to school full-time. I didn't have a lot of open time to study and learn and keep, you know, and, and have a life. So I needed to make sure that when I was in the classroom, I was present, taking notes, and it allowed me to really do really well in school. And it's helped me throughout my entire career. The other thing that I think it's really important is to ask questions. The art of asking questions is really the key to learning. A lot of times we don't realize the power that questions have. I read a wonderful book once called Change Your Questions and Change Your Life. The moment that you ask questions, you give the opportunity to learn more and inquire more, to dig deeper. So think about the art of questions. 
the first thing I will tell you is that any speaker that you ever meet, the moment you ask a question, it is the best compliment that you can give them because they will feel that you're listening and that you're there with them and that you're present. But it also allows them to learn the areas that maybe they weren't clear on or that they didn't go enough into detail. So don't be afraid to ask questions and raise your hand. As women, one of the things that I realized very early on is that I was always very quiet in the back of the room. I'm an only child and definitely extremely shy. And I had to learn to get out of my comfort zone and be comfortable being uncomfortable. So one of the things that I will encourage you to do is to be the first one to raise your hand. And one of the reasons that we lack confidence or have fear is because we don't know what we're gonna say and we are so afraid of being judged. But I love the way that Christy opened up this, this speech. You have to think about, there is nothing, no one's going to remember even what you said because people are so distracted anyway. So just go ahead and ask your question. One of the things you can do to build confidence is you always start off by first thanking the person or, and that gives you a little time to think through it, but just write a couple of bullet points of what you're trying to ask. So I might say something like, Christy, thank you so much. I love your opening remark. Can you tell me what inspired you to pick that quote today? What was the leading of why you decided that that would be a great quote for us? Anytime you're asking questions, you're curious and curiosity is something that we tend to lose as we get older. And that is what actually helps us to get better and better every day. So don't lose your curiosity. The other thing that I want to share with you is as a woman, I think it's really important that we not only realize about our self-confidence, but our self-talk is really important. Here's a quote that I love, and it really refers to speaking and networking. Our words have power. They impact others, but they also impact us. I used to very early on be very hard on myself. Anytime I didn't know something, I automatically defaulted to, oh, I'm so dumb. I can't believe I didn't know that. Why didn't I do that? How come I don't have this other situation? The moment you talk to yourself like that, you start believing it. I need you to think that your words are so powerful and they're more powerful to yourself. So make sure as you think about going into your first networking event or going into the breakouts in a few minutes, just give yourself a really exciting pep talk and say to yourself, I can do this. I'm going to come out of my comfort zone. I'm going to do my elevator speech and I'm gonna be really good at it. And the other thing that I will tell you as my final tip to you is that practice makes perfection, right? And I know people say practice makes perfect, but you are always striving to get better. So here's the thing, the first time you do anything, you're gonna be really bad at it most likely, and that's okay. Think about little kids when they're learning how to walk, they stumble and fall, but they get up again and laugh about it. We tend to be so hard on ourselves when we don't do something right out of the gate in a perfect way. So I want you to think through, as you prepare for today and for the rest of your careers, don't be so hard on yourself. Practice because that's gonna help you to build confidence and get better. When I first started doing elevator speeches, I didn't actually take it very seriously. I thought it was kind of silly to write down a few words about myself or what I was going to get across. But I realized the very importance of being able to be very direct and clear with people of why you're there. So when you think about an elevator speech, it's an introduction of yourself, but it's also a way for people to get to be more inquisitive about you. They want to be more curious and learn more. It's how we start a dialogue. Networking, it's a two-way street. It's not just about you and your agenda and what you're trying to accomplish, but it's about truly building connections of people that will open up new doors and opportunities. And that's why I am so excited to be here with all of you today. And I really wish that you get the best out of today's networking because networking is really the way for you to be able to open doors that you didn't even think were available. So thank you. And Christy, back to you. Wow, thank you so much, uh, Valerie Jimenez from Mass Mutual Tri-State. Fantastic words of wisdom for all of us. Um, and certainly, um, you know, so true, our words have power. And, and it's so important to remember to, to be kind to yourself in your words. And it's such, such great information. Thank you so much for all of that. We, we really are, are, are grateful for that. Um, so just a little bit more information um, before we go into our breakouts. Um, a little bit more about uh, networking and why it's important. So networking um, is a group or a system of interconnected people. And your network can include your classmates or your friends, family, teachers, coworkers, or members of clubs or organizations that you're involved with. 
And networking, like Valerie said, is about making those connections and building relationships. And those connections can provide you with advice and contacts, help you make informed career decisions, and give you an opportunity to help others in return. So a little bit about uh, additional tips for networking with confidence. Um, again, power posture. Power posture is something to, to really practice. So when we feel powerful, imagine when you feel powerful, when you feel confident, we naturally open up and expand. We pull our shoulders back. We lift our chests up. And studies have actually shown that when we take that power posture for a couple minutes, we feel more confident and have a higher tolerance for stress. So taking a confident power, power posture for just a couple minutes, even when you don't feel confident, you can trick your body and brain into feelings of greater power, comfort, and confidence. Um, clothing, um, be sure to wear something that you feel comfortable in and reflects the best possible you. If you're going to an event, um, find out ahead of time what the dress code is. It's always helpful. Um, Conversation starters. Uh, again, Valeria gave some great information, um, asking asking questions and being a good listener, um, so important. Um, and then those career related questions. Anytime you can find, um, when you can find that kind of connection um, is, is always helpful. Those career connections, um, be interested, uh, be kind, be positive. And again, um, you know, be aware of your surroundings. Don't be, uh, don't be looking at your phone um, as, as she mentioned. Um, such, a, such a helpful thing to remember. So oh, elevator pitch. Again, we are going to go over this very briefly, um, but we because we want to give you enough time for those breakout rooms. And again, um, we're going to call on our volunteer mentors who will be joining us as facilitators in the breakout rooms in a moment um, to to share your own uh, stories if you have them about networking. Um, any tips that happen to to work for you? Any strategies that happen to work for you? And again, it's all about building confidence. Um, again, I'm going back to uh, Valeria's fantastic words of wisdom, being comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that certainly is kind of a theme that runs through our Women's Future Leadership Academy. Um, being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, and the more opportunity you have to practice, um, the better it is. And if you know what to say, um, the, the more confident you'll feel going into a networking situation. So an elevator pitch is a tool that you can use whenever you find yourself in a networking situation, whether it's something that you plan to attend. Um, and a lot of, of networking uh, opportunities are happening now virtually. Um, a lot of business organizations, community organizations are having virtual networking events. Um, so you can use these in any of those as well. Uh, but you never know when you're going to find yourself in a position where you can meet someone that might be able to um, be a great connection as you follow your education and career path. So the elevator pitch is a brief high energy presentation that is used by companies and individuals to promote their products and themselves. And most companies will have an elevator pitch as well. So any of our mentors, if you have, if your company has an elevator pitch, we encourage you to share that as well. So when you create your own elevator pitch, again, companies um, spend a lot of resources in developing that elevator pitch, which is such an important part of their brand as an organization. And, and you can too, when you're creating your own professional personal brand, um, part of that is your elevator pitch. It's a tool that you can use. Um, they're a great way to get people excited about the company and what it has to offer customers and potential employers. And it's a great thing to kind of showcase your own strengths and your own um, abilities. So um, when you're creating your elevator pitch, again, this is what we're going to be doing in our breakout sessions momentarily. Um, you want to start with a little brainstorming. So brainstorm answers to the following questions. Um, and these are just examples. You can think of um, your own questions as well. So this is where the, the elevator pitch writing is going to start by brainstorming. Think about the answers to these questions. What matters to you? What are you good at? What do you have to offer a potential employer? What kinds of things interest you? What do you want to be remembered for doing? If you asked a friend, how would he or she describe you? And finally, what is one thing people should know about you? So these are things that you're going to want to consider, things that you're going to want to ask yourself as you're crafting your elevator pitch. Because again, your pitch is what makes you unique. 
And we all have our own very special gifts and our own very special skill sets. And that is what is going to make us really um, effective in our careers and successful at our jobs. Um, when you're able to highlight those to someone that can help you um, get to where you want to go. So take that information that you just wrote down and imagine, imagine a dream you would like to learn more about. And again, I'd like to invite students, any students would like to post in the chat box. Um, I know we've talked about this before in our goal setting session. Um, we're going to think about careers. Um, think about a career that, that is maybe your dream job. Think about a career that you would really like to have one day. Um, and go ahead and feel free to post that in the chat box, students, if you'd like. Imagine a dream job you would like to learn more about or that you'd like to have. Great, I see interior designer. If anybody else wants to go ahead and post that, put it out there. Um, we'd love to hear it. A career in psychology, excellent. Physical therapist, nurse, we love it. Tennis player, forensic psychologist, data analyst. Wow, look at that. Dermatology, fantastic. So take those great careers, lawyer, journalist, and imagine that you are in a networking situation and meet someone who could hire you for your dream job. Or if it's a job that you're not quite yet qualified for or to apply for, imagine that you could volunteer or get an internship to learn more about it. So imagine that dream job and then imagine you're in a networking situation and meet someone who could hire you for your dream job. So the question is, what are you going to say? What are you gonna to say to that person? And again, it's called an elevator pitch because it should be something that you could relate to somebody if you're in a trip on an elevator. So 30 seconds, because um, sometimes you've heard the expression, um, it only, you only get one chance to make a good first impression, right? So this is your opportunity. So in the breakout rooms, and again, when we move over to the breakout rooms, I will explain this again. But in your breakout rooms, you're going to create an elevator pitch to deliver that includes the following, your name, the dream job that you'd like to apply for or learn more about through volunteering, skills or interests that could have that could contribute to the job, something great about your personal brand that could leave a positive and memorable impression, and then finally some way to contact you or follow up with you. Um, and I see a question, what would be a networking situation? Um, it really could be anything. If you are volunteering somewhere, um, if you are at an event um, at, at your school, whether it be at your high school or at college, um, you, you never know. You could be in line at the supermarket and see somebody um, in front of you that, that might have um, a story to tell. And again, networking is really not about um, getting help from other people. Um, it's about making those connections. Um, so make those connections, um, expand your network, um, get to meet new people, again, either, either virtually um, or in person and, and any kind of networking situation um, that, that, that you might uh, come across. Okay, so any other questions? If you have any other questions, please feel free to post them in the chat box. We love that. Um, I think at this time we are going to, yep, we are going to move to our breakout sessions. So again, I will go over all of this in the breakout sessions, but this is what we're going to do. So my colleagues, uh, my colleague Stephanie has posted a link in the chat box there. And that link takes us to a WebEx meeting, and that will allow us to go into breakout rooms. Um, so you'll simply either copy and paste that link into your browser, or, um, or simply click it, and you'll go right into uh, a different WebEx meeting where we will be able to put you in breakout sessions. Um, so if, if uh, Stephanie, if, I, if, if you need to add anything uh, to that, please feel free. Um, but uh, please, when you, when you can, students, go ahead and click that link in the chat box. Um, it will take you to the, um, to the WebEx meeting, and that's where we will put you in, in small groups with a volunteer mentor, um, and you'll have the opportunity to create your own elevator pitch. Now, Chrissy, you're good to go. I dropped the link in, so um, the, the meeting will be live. Our colleague Viviana is uh, the host in, of that room. So whenever you're all ready, I see a lot of folks moving over there now, uh, which is great. So make sure you just click that link or open it in a new browser and leave this meeting so you don't get too confused with two meetings live. I will eventually uh, close out this one. Thank you so much.